Hey guys, it's Anne over at Plan Obsessed, and today we're going to take a look in on the DIY stacked bin. And uh, as some people predicted, me putting this towel on top like this um, has resulted in it drying out. So I'm going to pull that off. Oof. Doesn't look like any worms are stuck to it, but I'm going to have to definitely get that wet again. It's probably been about two weeks since I've been in this bin. So let's let's see what I got here. Seems like the underneath moisture is doing good. Still have not finished up that apple, but they are definitely getting into it. Looks like I got a good population of the... I don't know if they're brown mites or red mites or what the story is there. Everything underneath seems to be a good moisture. That towel certainly didn't make any progress. Oops, worm quake. So let me take this off. And we'll look at the next level down. Okay, that is beautiful, isn't it? Look at those castings. Just beautiful. Perfect moisture. Yeah. I see bedding but I'm not really seeing any food. There was just that one little piece of apple. Cut the windows out of your junk mail before putting in the worm bin. Okay, so that looks pretty good there. Let me pull off this and we'll look at the bottom layer. All right, this looks really good too. If you've watched this bin before, you know that the bottom actually is you the best moisture. And as you can tell, the worms, there's a lot of worms down here. Now the holes going into the bottom of this are only a sixteenth of an inch. So I don't know if all these worms could go back if they wanted to, considering their size. So one of the things that I think I'm going to do here is I'm going to move some of these worms to the upper level and then I'm going to put the towel down here since it stays in the best moisture. So I'm going to move these over and then I'm going to put the towel down here and then maybe they'll be able to make some progress on that towel. All right, there we go. I had a little bucket of water down here to get it a little bit more wet. Hopefully with a nice wet fed with a nice wet feeding that then this will turn into a uh, nice situation where the worms will want to eat this towel. So I'm gonna put some of them on top. Let me know if you think this is a good idea. I think putting it down here in the wet is a good idea. Um, but you know, just put your comments in the below. I love reading them. I love interacting with everybody. Um, so let me get some food for this layer so that this makes the towel more tantalizing. Okay, today we have rice. So that's pretty fast food. Hopefully this is not rocking the whole camera. Sorry if it is. And then I'm going to put the next layer back on top. Now that will sit a little bit higher until it all settles down. But I'm going to give them a little bit of rice too. Put that down the middle. Kind of spread it out a little bit. And then I'll put the top back on. Now 
Now I did put a couple handfuls of worms on top of here. Um, that way, if they can't make it back up through the really small holes in the bottom layer, at least they'll have more, you know, surface area and food up here. But I am going to uh, cover this up with bubble wrap this time so that hopefully it will stay a little bit um, more damp and the worms will be happier with that. Bury that avocado shell. So that doesn't fit the whole edge to edge, but hopefully that will be enough to uh, keep that a little bit more wet for them so they can finish um, working through that material and also get started on that towel. All right, I'm going to pick you up here for a second. Uh, for anybody who has not seen the whole bin, um, it is three different bins that I put holes in the side for ventilation. There's also holes in the bottom of this bin that are about a quarter of an inch, and there are holes in the bottom of this bin that are a sixteenth of an inch, and then this bottom one that was originally the sump doesn't have any holes at all. Uh, this is one of my favorite bins. It works wonderfully, uh, but when it does get full, these each one of these layers weighs about 40 pounds, so I don't move it once it gets full. As it is right now in the beginning, it's pretty easy for me to move it from point A to point B, uh, but as it gets very full, then not so much. So I would say that is one of the only drawbacks to this system is that I'm not 20 anymore, and when things get super heavy, it gets difficult for me to move around. But aside from that, you know, uh, this is one of my favorite systems. All right, guys. Well, if you like the video, give me a muddy thumbs up. And if you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know exactly what I'm doing, exactly when I'm doing it, ring that bell icon. All right. Thanks for hanging out with me and my worms. And everybody, have a good day.